Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Power of the Force Friday. This time we're looking at Chewbacca in Bounty Hunter Disguise. Now this one came out as part of the Shadows of the Empire in 1996. Um, yeah, that sort of multimedia project that uh, happened right before the special editions uh, set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi had just about everything except a movie itself. Um, so we had soundtracks, we had a vi we had video games, we had um, comic books, novels, all the good stuff, um, and of course a toy line that had to accompany it. It was a uh, I think it was about seven or eight figures. Um, I don't know if I have them all. I think I'm missing a couple still. I am on the hunt for them, as always. I'm trying to round out my Power of the Force 2 collection. But this uh, is uh, gone in disguise as a bounty hunter called Snoover. So uh, he's got a flat top, flat top haircut and an eye patch. And that was almost a way to... Um, retcon the fact that Chewie's hair is a little bit different in Return of the Jedi. That's because he'd give himself a flat top hairdo. <laughs> which is which is pretty cool. Um, he comes with these two sort of pretty beefy looking weapons. You know, it's typical power of the force. You know, they had a bit of a creative creative license with the weapons. So this is uh, what he came with. And uh, this one here uh, like a big big axe Which did have a peg on the back so you can peg it peg it in there you can have him armed and ready to swing that bad boy at, at some uh, some bad guys so it's kind of cool I like the design I'd love to see like a uh, Super recent, like an update of this figure, like a nice new Chewbacca in this outfit. I really like the, uh, I like the idea. Uh, for the most part, they've sort of just added to the original Chewbacca sculpt um, from Power of the Force because his his arms are all the same, the legs are the same, just with all the extra junk on him, <laughs> basically, and a slightly different paint scheme. But for the most part, it is. You know, they probably just remolded it and uh, tweaked it a little bit just to get this look. But he's pretty cool. So I've got the uh, page open here in the book. And there he is here. It says there, well, hello, Chewie. Oh, excuse me, your flat top and eye patch indicate your, your snoover, the bounty hunter. Great disguise. So there he is. And there's the other Chewie. Let's see, very, very similar. So I'd be keen to sort of see this idea sort of brought back into modern canon. Like, I think that would be really, really interesting to see. Uh, Chewie sort of in, in a cool disguise. Like, you know, there's so many stories you could tell. And, you know, his hair just grows back. So it would be, it'd be interesting. <laughs> Let's just say that. You could do something a little bit similar, maybe not so much. It looks very, uh, you know, late 80s, early 90s video game inspired. Sort of flat top, random armor. There's nothing really protecting anything else. But it's cool. I like the idea. I think it's a cool idea. Yeah, I like the uh, sort of cloth coming down on the back there. All the little details, pipes and greebling and stuff on his armor is quite cool. So yeah, I, I do remember the Shadows at the Empire days really well. Um, yeah, a lot of good memories of playing the playing the guts out of that 64 game. And getting very frustrated with some parts of it. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I'd love to I'd love to go back and play it actually. It would probably frustrate the hell out of me even more these days. But uh I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Do you remember Shadows of the Empire? Any good memories of Shadows of the Empire? What do you think of this figure? Um, yeah, anything that's on your mind? 
sound out in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be so awesome and I'll be your best friend forever. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do and I'll be your best best friend forever. And hit the little notification bell so you can continue being best friends forever, ever and ever. And you won't miss any future videos coming up in the future. So thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate taking the time to watch. And uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, may the force be with you always.